Bruce Peck with netmark.com and today I'm going to show you how to make an Instagram ad using Facebook Ad Manager. So if you haven't used this before, you just log into Facebook Ads Manager. Uh, you just go to facebook.com slash ads and then you just log in with your regular Facebook account. If you're doing this, and you probably are for a business, you want to be using the Facebook account that manages your business page. So looking at what you have here you have a whole bunch of options so this is the very first step once you get in here and then you hit create ads and so you have a lot of different options for things that you can do notice that some of these um, are Facebook specific like collecting leads for your business or um, you know raising attendance for your event some of these different things like you can't do as a face or as an Instagram ad so you just have to go through you have to see which ones will work for that um, but once you've selected one, so in this case, I'm sending or sending people to our website, and then you can name this campaign name anything that you want. So just saying website clicks, and you hit continue. And by the way, like the name doesn't show up to anybody except for yourself. So that's why I'm saying like just put in what you want. So uh, you can choose, and this is going off of another ad that I ran before. So it's like I'm targeting specific college students in a specific location at their age but you can go through and you can edit these things so uh, I'm gonna create a new audience and um, so the first part right here is you can you can target like a specific location so say I want to target Utah the entire state of Utah for some reason and this is what you really want to know like who your potential um, customers are really really well so you can say like hey I want to target everybody in in uh, in this area so Utah um, you can get more specific with like your cities and stuff and then uh, I know I want to target people in this age range 18 to 24 um, depending on who they are, you can select their gender, what languages you want to have them in, like detailed targeting. So um, like for, for this ad that I was running, I was saying like, hey, I want people between 20, or that are going to graduate in 2016 through 22, or 2020. So they're going to be in school for that amount of time. Uh, but you can go down here and you can add a whole bunch of different demographics and behaviors. So if you look down here, you have entertainment, you have food and drink, you have fitness and wellness, you have shopping and fashion, you have beauty and then like you can click on one of these so say it's like trying to target somebody in beauty then you can go through a whole bunch of different interests that they have in that specific area then going down this list you can you can narrow it and you can really go for forever so I just recommend exploring around this to, to kind of figure out who they are and and uh, and being really, really specific so then when uh, your ad runs that you're, you're actually reaching the right people. And this is something you can test and play around with. Um, then going down here, so adding a connection type, you could say like, oh, hey, they like this page or they use my app or f friends of people who use my app or people exclude people who use my app. So different things like that can help. Um, and then so you save your audience and then if you look over here on this side you have like the audience definition and so you have like the details by location their age their language uh, where it's being placed um, and then the estimated daily reach so you're not unless you're really like trying to reach everybody in the entire United States you don't want to have um, <laughs> well if, I mean even if you are trying to reach uh, everyone in the entire United States. It's probably not smart to do a broad one because you, you'll get a lot of impressions with people, but you'll um, not be able to really convert on it. So budget and schedule. So this is where you put in like how much you're willing to spend. They'll they'll not go any lower than a dollar a day. I don't know why you'd be spending a dollar a day on Facebook ads, but, uh, but yeah, you have to have like a daily budget. Um, and then you can, you can say... Um, like this is like my start and end date for it. Like this is the time uh, that I want to start and end. And then the advanced options give you a little bit more uh, stuff like automatic bids or you can bid yourself. 
um, what you get charged, the ad scheduling, like when when you want the ads to be shown. So like rather than like the default setting is running ads all the time, but you can change that to only run at these specific times a day. Um, and then delivery type. Yeah, so a lot of those are just different options you can play around with and do things. So as you see, like we're, we're most of the way through like the, the beginning part. So that's just kind of like the, the setup of the ad. And then you hit continue. And now we're getting into more of the format with it. And so uh, you can you can show a single image um, or multiple images at a, at a time. Um, then, uh, so and then like there's there's like a slideshow or a video. You can do any of those. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna just like upload an image. It's pretty easy. You can use a stock photo too. But say this is the ad that I'm trying to put up. It'll upload into there. And then here down in the corner, it'll show you a little preview. You put in your website URL. So www.netmar.com. So you put it in there. This is what it'll look like on the desktop for, for Facebook, but what we're really interested in today is what it'll look like on the Instagram. <laughs> on the Instagram. On the Instagram. On on Instagram. Sorry. So that that's what it'll look like when it shows into people's feeds. Uh, with that and so you can go down here and you can enter in a headline and then text to to, to describe it um, oh and one thing I forgot to show you on this other one so I mean like like right now I have selected like all these different feeds so you have like the desktop news feed um, you have the mobile news feed you have Instagram you have the audience network desktop right column so like this is like saying like, hey, when people are scrolling through Facebook on their computer, like they can see it in the, the main part of Facebook. Um, and then like if you're targeting only mobile people, um, just the people in the audience network and then like the desktop right column, which I think is kind of stupid. But uh, you can go around here if you just want to do Instagram ads, you'd go down to or go back up to placements and you could say, hey, um, like rather than automatic, you, you click this button right here, choose your placement. And then you could, if you only wanted to do Instagram, you, you'd unclick all these. And then um, that would be good. So once you get down here to the bottom, you've pretty much done everything that Instagram has asked you to do. Uh, and so that, that's, that's how you'd run this type of ad on, on, uh, on Instagram. Um, you can put a call to action like download this I mean like if you're gonna run an ad shop now sign up watch more apply now book now all sorts of stuff which is is like definitely the reason why you'd be uh, why you'd be putting an ad out there so then you'd go and you'd click this button hit place order and once you place an order Facebook will review the ad and then if it meets their criteria you will be able to put it on to Instagram. So that's that's a real brief overview of how to uh, to post it, post the ad onto Instagram. Feel free to write in the comments below, whether on the blog article or on YouTube. Um, any questions that you have, I'd love to answer them with you. Again, I'm Bruce Peck from Netmark.com, and if you uh, want some like professional help setting up uh, your ads campaign, testing it, figuring it out, we do these types of ads every day. So um, please just uh, shoot us a message. My personal email is bpeck at netmark.com. So thank you.